Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my Ipsy bag for October. Um, I filmed this the other day, the same day I did my BoxyCharm, but the audio was off a little bit where I, um, I was talking but my mouth wasn't following when I was talking and that's never happened to me before. It was really strange. So I am refilming this today. So yes, I do know what is inside of here, but I'm going to show you guys anyway since everyone does get different Ipsy bags. So this is the card for this month. The theme is Black Magic, and I will leave a link um, below to all of the products that are inside of this month's bag. And as always, if you guys are interested, I will leave a sign-up link below. Ipsy is $10 a month, and you get five... Um, sample size products, sometimes they are full size products in your bag, and um, yeah, so let's get into it. This is the bag this month, I think it is so cute, it has like little bats and potion bottles and cats, and then there's like ghosts and more Halloween things, and then this is the cutest part I think, is it has a little ghost zipper, I think that is so adorable. So, diving on in, let me get situated here. It's nighttime, I just got off work uh, like an hour ago, and yeah, so I'm just kind of winging this second tutorial and before I have dinner. So the first thing that's in here is from Lottie London, and it is an eyeshadow brush, as you can see here. It is a shorter brush, um, I think this would be good for matte shades. Um, I don't necessarily think it would be good for shimmer shades just because I like to use a longer, um, more thinner brush, if that makes any sense. This is kind of thicker and it's shorter, so um, I think it would work best with packing on um, matte shades. You know, you could do up here with a matte shade or you could do your lower lash line. I think it would work good for both areas. So this is obviously a full size product, so I will leave all of the prices and links to below to everything that I can find. The next thing in here is from Pure, and it says Pure Dirty Girl Detoxifying Mud Mask with Pascalite, Pascalite Clay. Not really sure on that word. You guys see that? Um, the net weight is 0.5 ounces, and it says apply mask liberally to clean skin and treat for 5 to 20 minutes. Rinse thoroughly with warm water. So I know that Pure is a more um, high-end brand. Um, I have not tried any of their skincare products. Um, do I have anything? I think I just got something from them, which was a lip product in our BoxyCharm from last month. But I have not really tried anything else from this brand. So I am excited to try this. Um, obviously this is a sample size, but I will leave the full size link to below. Alright, the next thing in here is from Essence, and it is the Super Fine Eyeliner Pen, and it is waterproof. Go ahead and show you the tip, and I will swatch it. This is really black, and the other day when I went to um, wash this off my hand when I did this the first time, it did not want to budge. Um, I had to use um, oil, my makeup eye makeup remover, to get this off. Um, I think this would be great for like doing a wing. Um, or a really thin eyeliner. It's really thin and it does create a nice thin line. I do like this so far. I haven't used it on my eyes, but from me testing it out on my hand and it not coming off and um, I just like the way it feels on my hand. It feels goes on really smooth and I believe this is full size because I know Essence is an affordable brand and you can get Essence at like Ulta or online, so I believe this is probably a full size product. Okay, so the last two things that are in here, um, this is from The Balm, and it is their Hot Mama Blush, and you can also use it as an eyeshadow. The Balm is also um, a more affordable brand, but um, let me go ahead and swatch this for you guys. This is just a little tiny sample size, and this is really, really pretty. It's a nice coral shade, and it does have like some gold shimmer in it. One thing I don't like is if you can see that, that chunkiness in the pan, 
it is really chunky and it does come off on your hand that way and I don't like that about it. Other than that, I think it's a really, really pretty color. I could see me wearing this a lot in um, the spring and summer. Definitely in the summer, I would wear this a ton. But this is 0.57, oh, 0.57 grams, 0 0.002 ounces. So it is a really small sample size. It does kind of have a harder consistency than their eyeshadows. I have gotten their eyeshadows in my bags before, and I did um, depot them. I just kind of, this cardboard stuff rips off. And you can just write on the back what it is and put it in the little pot. But, um, yeah. So that is the blush from the bomb. And the last thing I see in here is from Trust Fund Beauty. And it's called Gimme Good Face Face Primer. So the only thing I've tried from Trust Fund Beauty is their nail polish. Which I'm actually wearing today. I just painted my nails on Sunday night. This is Tuesday that I'm refilming. Um, it did get all kind of nasty. I'm sure you can see it. Um, I decided to clean the house and do dishes after I did my nails, so that wasn't very smart on my part, but hey, <laughs> I don't really care. I don't, I don't work with the public. I sit at my desk all day and I do emails, so my nails aren't really that important. But this says, think of it as a selfie filter for your face, just like you. It lets no flaws show. This primer will smooth out any imperfections to leave you looking your best. So there are... 0.34 fluid ounces in here and I just kind of wanted to show you guys it is a clear consistency and it does go on the skin similar to the um, Smashbox photo finish foundation primer the only thing is this is, has a thinner consistency I don't know if it has silicone in it I know it has dimethicone in it which some people don't like to use on their skin I think it does make them break out um, I am currently dealing with breakouts. I think they're more hormonal breakouts um, just because they're around this area. My chin area, um, everywhere else isn't really breaking out. So I know that's more of a hormonal thing. So I'm not shying away from trying new products. I know that might seem kind of crazy. But um, I don't think it's necessarily products that are breaking me out as much as it is like hormones and possibly the medication that I'm on, um, my birth control. So... I don't know. I go to the doctor next month, so I'm going to see if I can get that switched out, and hopefully I won't have um, as many breakouts anymore. But yeah, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'll leave all the products below, as well as the sign-up link if you guys are interested in joining. It is $10 a month. And if you guys want to connect with me outside of YouTube, you can follow me on Snapchat. Twitter, and Instagram, all at TanyaMarie715, and you can follow me on Facebook at DIY with Tanya. And let me know in the comment below what your favorite product was this month, and also, will you guys stay tuned for some Halloween tutorials coming up? This bag just gives me all the Halloween feels. I love it. So, yeah, happy Halloween to you guys, and I will see you very soon.